Welcome to our newest listing here in Midlothian, Texas, brought to you by the Living in Dallas, Texas team and one of our top agents on the team, Atticus. And I'm here to walk you through today, but also stick around because we're gonna take you through another master plan community here in Midlothian. We're gonna take you downtown, uh, things to do, talk about the school district. We gotta give you the full scoop because it's a little bit of a drive to come down here on the south side of Dallas, uh, which we don't venture down here too much, but we do have clients looking to purchase in this area Area because you do get a lot of space with your home. It's one of the hidden gems, you could say, of being close to the Dallas area, only about within 20 to 30 minutes just south. And this home in particular sits on 1.25 acres. And this is what you're gonna find very consistently throughout Midlothian. Of course, when we take you over to a master plan community, you'll see they, they kind of bunch them in there a little bit closer together, but still, we're here in the, the main office right here up front. As you know, I always love that. You can see up on the ceiling, beautiful wood beams to really add a very dramatic effect here large vaulted ceilings, windows, almost floor to ceiling on there as well, letting in a lot of natural light, which connects right into the butler's area, you could say. Pan it's not really a pantry because it's open here, but it's exposed, but you could also uh, call this the drink area, the bar area. You've got your wine fridge down here, coffee station you could have up here, nice walk-in pantry off to the side here as well. And you can see when you step in, it's got nice, sensored lighting so that you don't have to worry about turning on and off the lights. Then of course this moves right into the kitchen area and this home was built in 2017 but was just recently remodeled. You can see beautiful granite countertops. Now, this is something Alex and I were just talking about is that a lot of homes are moving away from granite. They're going with quartzite and quartz type counters that typically are just kind of plain in my opinion. And I've always loved granite. You can see all the pattern and design throughout this. I think it gives it a lot of character. You've got a five burner stove on this back end. You can notice there's kind of the French country feel happening in here, especially with the floor de lis uh, on, the, on the fixtures and, and look, these dark cabinets, the fixtures above the island right here as well. And you step over here and you have breakfast area, of course, for uh, everything that's going on and everything connects here, open concept, you can see, again, vaulted ceilings up here, uh, lots of room, you can have lots of entertainment, seating, you even have room if you want a uh, more of a formal dining area right throughout here. You could have formal dining and room for a huge sectional, which you can see also you have under seating from the counter so that uh, the kids, you know, when you're making breakfast in the morning, it's really nice. And this brings you over here to your nice uh, mantle fireplace, mounted TV, you could have right above that, built-ins on each side. And what I love is that they're uh, symmetrical, right? They're even, they're, they're both the same size. Uh, so that's really a nice touch. Stone fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling as well. Very nice touch. Uh, this home is just right at 3,094 square feet as well. So it's a pretty good size with this piece right here, this bedroom being its own uh, mother-in-law suite. First of all, you've got access directly to the backyard. So you could even short-term rental this section because you've got a separate entrance. You could easily put, place a lock on the door on the outside, give somebody access to this. If you, you know, allow them access to your backyard, up to you. But this is a very nice size bedroom overlooks a majority of your 1.2 acre lot in the back. So it's a nice view. They've got mounting for the TV on top of there. But when you walk into the ensuite bathroom as well, you got plenty of room and a really nice walk-in shower. You can see beautiful stonework in there and you step in and it goes all the way back. Uh, so you've got plenty of room in there. Don't feel too crowded. And of course, look at this closet. I mean, for uh, secondary, I mean, really this could be a secondary primary suite, could be the mother-in-law suite, could be a short-term rental, if you are comfortable doing that, or whenever maybe you leave and go on vacation, you could just rent out this little section right here. Some people wanna come out for that nice country feel. Now, as we walk through, you're also gonna get a sense of just how open this whole concept is here. Really makes it uh, nice and cozy, but at the same time, you don't feel crowded. Now you've got two more bedrooms that share this bathroom through here. Again, 
beautiful uh, tile work in here that they've done, countertops, single vanity, and then you have two additional bedrooms back through here, which very good size. You've got large windows overlooking the front of the house, walk-in closet. I mean, uh, a little walk-in closet, more like a step-in closet, but still plenty of room in there for one of the kids to, to have all their stuff in. And as we step into the other bedroom here as well, you have another closet, almost identical on the floor plan for these two bedrooms. But we wanted to save the best part for last, which is going to be the primary. You definitely wanna check that out. But also this home has an additional shed slash workspace in the, in the back that we can check out. It's 400 square feet. So that gives you some options to play around with there if you like to tinker on things or work on them. Uh, you have that option on as well. The backyard area, let's go outside. And now the funny thing is, is today, <laughs> I mean, they always joke about the weather here in Texas because they say, if you don't like the weather in Texas, just give it a minute and it will change. Literally yesterday, blue skies, sunny, 80 degrees. The day before that, we set a record uh, as we're filming this in February ever, as of right now, the day before we set a record, it was 92 degrees in February. And now, I walk outside and it's 40 degrees. We come out here to film. We were like expecting to show you all oh, these beautiful skies and uh, you know, warm weather here in February, but no, it's 40 degrees. And the funny thing is, is tomorrow it's gonna be 70. <laughs> so you step out here, you've got this massive patio area. I mean, this is nice. I mean, you can see the backyard behind me, so much space and the fence line is covered in trees. So when you're out here, you're, you don't feel like you're on top of your neighbor. You're just out here, first of all, looking at your massive yard that you've got to mow, by the way, but hey, that's okay. You get a riding lawn mower, you have a lot of fun out here. You can see the 400 square foot shed off to the back. And again, full tree line back here with some elevation, kind of a, a, even a hill beyond that. So more than likely, somebody's not going to build directly behind you. But even look out here, you've got this beautiful stone fireplace, uh, plenty of mount for the TV, extended patio back here if you wanna have uh, a, t a table or something, chairs maybe just to sit down there. But here, plenty of room for sectional and dining. I mean, it's almost so you could have your, your separate living room and dining room out here as well, which would be really nice. And your own hot tub included on top of that. I mean, why not? And you could definitely get into that on a day like this. Yeah, we. <laughs> I think uh, Alex is ready to go inside, but hey, me too. <laughs> it's uh, funny how chilly it gets. Woo. All right, look at this beautiful uh, GE appliances in here as well. Really blends in with the cabinets with that dark feature. I love that. I like that dark stainless. And then you walk back here. Well, before we go into the primary, you're gonna come in here into your mud room and you have, before we go check that out, you do have this spacious, three car garage in here as well. You can hear the echo in here probably, maybe, I don't know, our microphone's pretty good, but nice spacious three car garage. So if you got an extra toy or two, this would be the place that you got it, a uh, place to hang some of the tools in there. We'll come back through here and you can see you have all your AV equipment here nicely uh, stashed away in this closet. When we walk through into the laundry room, so you got uh, room for the washer and dryer, counter space, room to put a sink if you want to do that. And this directly connects into your primary closet. You've got additional storage right there as well. It's like a, its own closet within the closet. So that's pretty cool. You could even maybe turn this into a safe room or something like that. But you walk through here, I mean, you've got room for a full dresser in here and this wraps all the way around plenty of space. Uh, maybe this is hers, this whole section, and that little section is his, right? That's, that's what you get, guys. But then you step in to your primary bathroom. It's massive. I mean, uh, beautiful, large garden tub right there, separate vanities, all right? So you don't feel crowded. And you gotta check out this shower <laughs> where you got two entries, two showers, so guess what? It's, uh, well, you, you know, you, you get the idea. Seated area, I know ladies like that. It makes it easier to kind of shave the legs and all that other good stuff. And, or if you just get tired, you're taking a long shower and you just need to take a seat, right? Then we step into the primary bedroom. Plenty of room for a nice king size bed. Windows overlooking your beautiful backyard. Uh, they've already got the mounts up here for the TV. 
a good, again, extended ceilings. And you walk out through here, and this is priced right now at $749,000. So you're coming in close to $242 a square foot. This is a huge opportunity. You don't see this up in the North Dallas area that often. We talk about where's all the growth? Where's everything happening? Well, it's happening on all sides of the Metroplex, but most people are heading up north. They do want to be around a much bigger concentration, but when you come down here, there's just something that speaks differently to people when you come over here to South Dallas and you get into some of these country areas that make you really feel like you're in Texas when you've got the space, you've got the yard, you've got the trees, you've got uh, just a little room to grow, right? And you let the kids go out there and run around and play. You've got, I mean, look at this massive island here, it's amazing. So this is something you'll want to act fast and actually by the time you see this video could possibly already be under contract things are heating up significantly here in the dallas market at the same time since we're down here already we want to take you through midlothian now as well we're going to take you over to a brand new master plan community with several model homes that's an opportunity we'll take you downtown we'll talk about the schools share some pros and cons and of course we got to grab some barbecue and a coffee so let's get into it so we are in downtown Midlothian, the old historic downtown. As you know, we like to visit all the time. You can see we stopped in pen and paper. Uh, is it pen to paper? That's what it's called, right? Pen to paper barbecue spot here. You can notice, look, I love the old brick walls exposed on here. I mean, we get to sit down in a couch. Alex is over there in some lounge chairs. So they got a pretty cool vibe going on. They're remarketing what they said right now and uh, going to turn this into a whole cocktail lounge and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So pretty hip spot, I would say, for being in downtown Midlothian. But you're uh, just southwest of Dallas, about 25 miles. You're just about southeast of Fort Worth, about 25 miles. So a really good central location if you're gonna be working in both areas. Maybe you've got accounts or clients or something and you've gotta go through Arlington, Fort Worth, and Dallas, this would be a good location. And again, if you like that country feel, this is the spot to be. It's just nestled in between Highway 287 and 67. So again, part of it, we would still consider a little bit of the country, but at the same time, it is growing rapidly right now. Now the current population down here in Midlothian is about 41,000 people, but it's grown about 18% over the last four years. And by 2040, which seems like a far way out, but it'll be here before you know it, uh, the population could double. However, if you've seen some of our previous videos, especially on North Dallas, uh, like Salina, where Salina was projecting to hit population numbers by 2030, they're already at those population numbers by 2024. So Midlothian could grow even faster than expected. And of course that creates infrastructure issues and planning that the city has to put into place. But I think they're well on top of it here. They're developing a lot of communities and it's starting to become a little bit of a hot spot. So I don't expect those numbers to play out too much. Now the recent growth has sparked major efforts to revitalize and expand the entire downtown area, adding shops, restaurants, and festivities. The city plans to make downtown a destination for culture and art by creating a truly entertaining space for both locals and visitors. And we noticed this as we were coming in, there's a lot of construction happening, especially right outside here on the square. We're kind of on the back end of the uh, square. I don't wanna say the square, but actually of the historic downtown. They've got one main strip right out there. We're kind of on the back end, but a lot of road work happening all around us. And again, they look like they're about to expand adding in new shops and restaurants, but we also saw look like a tequila lounge was coming in. So it looks like a lot of really hip and cool spots are moving into this, uh, even though it's been known as a very sleepy and blue collar town, but they are kind of moving to attract some more of that business class. So that could be the effort of the rebranding here. It could be the effort of tequila lounges and cocktail bars. So it, they're gonna start creating quite the vibe down here. And of course, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Midlothian, but also stick around till the end because we're going to go over to that new community that's just getting built out and take you through a couple of model homes there that you definitely don't want to miss because it's going to give you some additional options, especially if you're looking at brand new construction and getting in early in any new community is always an advantage. Now this is a barbecue spot right here. This is what I'm talking about. All right, so there's uh, so, 
Oh, can I get some extra barbecue sauce, yeah, please? All right, good. appreciate it. And as I, as I was about to say was uh, the, there's some things to do. I mean, really not a lot of things to do around here, but again, they're kind of stepping up their game here and some places just around the corner uh, on the main strip. If you are looking for like a, a good dining spot is called Bovine. I'm, I'm sure they've got some beef there. Uh, of course, we're in pen to paper. I'm going to tell you a really cool story about that here in a little bit on our way out. We just found out the branded burger company. So if you're a burger fan, that could be a good option. And if you're looking for uh, drinks, they've got the Twisted Sisters Tap House, the Porch Pour, and Union 28. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, appreciate you're it. Welcome. I, like, I like my barbecue sauce, all right? Don't hate me in the comments, all right? But also make sure you stick around because after the community tours, we're gonna also give you the five pros and the five cons of living here in Midlothian. Now it's time for us to eat. All right, so we just learned a really cool story about the barbecue restaurant we're at, which is called Pen to Paper. The reason being is because uh, Pen Jones ran a printing press out of this very location right here. Now, he was one of the first people to ever print a story on JFK's assassination being a conspiracy theory. All right, so that didn't make some people very happy. And what happened is, is they came in here and they actually through bombs, fire bombs in here. And this is a spot on the cement floor right here. They're, they're going to uncover this and bring the history back. But this is where uh, the locals were not happy about the conspiracy theory of JFK's assassination. Fire bomb this place. He was able to get out, but he was uh, the editor of the Midlothian Mirror, which was the newspaper here at that time. So kind of some cool history. Midlothian is what you would call a blue collar town. In fact, it is known as the cement capital of Texas because of the cement and steel industries that are so prevalent here. But the city has noticed the need to become more white collar friendly. So there has been an effort to attract professionals in IT and business roles. The median household income in Midlothian is currently around 119,000 with a per capita median income of 46,000. And like we said, cement and steel is what the city is literally world famous for. So some of the top employers are Gerdo, which is a steel plant and wholesome, which is a cement plant. Midlothian was established in 1888 as a farming town that grew cotton and raised cattle. It has remained a small town for the majority of the 20th century, but in the past 20 years has seen its population increase over five times. The city of Midlothian is zoned for Midlothian ISD, which serves around 10,431 students and has eight elementary schools, three middle schools, and two high schools. Because Midlothian is growing, the school district is growing as well and has seen a 43% enrollment increase in the last 10 years. The flagship high school, Midlothian High, contains around 1,900 students from grades 9 through 12. The school also holds an A-minus rating from Niche.com and is ranked the fifth best high school in Ellis County. As a 5A school, there is really no shortage of opportunities for students. They have all the major sports teams as well as fine arts, technical training, and business courses. Midlothian Heritage High School is a bit smaller, although not by much, with around 1,600 students. It also holds an A-minus ranking from Niche.com and is ranked the third best high school in Ellis County. Also a 5A, you'll find the same types of programs here from sports to arts to STEM. Midlothian contains a network of 14 parks encompassing 248 acres with an additional 209 acres of undeveloped open space waiting for future development. The city has ambitious plans to further enhance its recreational offerings by constructing a town square, expanding the existing Midlothian sports complex, and building a recreation and aquatic center. Spanning 105 acres, the Midlothian Community Park reigns as the city's premier recreational area. The park has a ton of facilities, including a brand new veterans memorial, a splash pad, two basketball courts, five turfed baseball diamonds, four sand volleyball courts, an amphitheater, and a fishing lake. To further enhance the park's offerings, plans are underway to add two softball fields, four tennis courts, four pickleball courts, and a 300 space parking lot.
All right, you're really going to enjoy this one. And we're taking it a step up in price right here. And this is something you don't see that often, which is going to be about 2,500 square feet on one floor. So as soon as you walk in the door, we come off to uh, two of the bedrooms, the first of the uh, kids' bedrooms, you could say, of course, decorated in here for a nice little lady. Uh, we've got windows facing out to the front. Nice uh, stand-in closet there. Plenty of room for things to be hung up on there. You got space for the dresser, of course, and additional lighting. You have the full bath right here in the middle of both these bedrooms. And of course, over here, positioned as a nursery, could also be the uh, boy's room or the other little girl's room, depending on uh, what you have there. But again, another nice window overlooking the side yard in this area. Same situation, stand-in closet over here. And again, almost 2,500 square feet on a single floor, which is a nice option if, you, if you're not a fan of stairs. Now, I don't mind stairs. I like it for the exercise a little bit, uh, but at the same time, if you have a lot to do or chasing kiddos around, that can, that can turn out quite a bit. So, over here, you've got your mud room. You would have the doorway right here to your two car garage, which is where their current office is. You can see plenty of space uh, to hang the shoes and the coats. A, a nice size coat closet with some AV hookups in there as well. And then of course, a nice size laundry room throughout here. You can see they've got the upgraded tile. And these homes right now are starting at, at the 520,000 mark. Now this model home is gonna be upwards closer to 600 a little bit, but that's uh, because it's got all the bells and whistles. You can see the nice vinyl plank flooring throughout here. And you have the office slash movie area, whatever it is you want it to be that is right off to the side. Uh, open, so open concept here, but built-in desk area, room for a nice large screen TV there. And then as you walk into here, I mean, this is what I'm talking about whenever it comes to open concept. I mean, plenty of space. I mean, they only got four seats right here, but you could probably fit a fifth or a sixth. Beautiful island. Uh, I mean, it's massive one single stone right here, which is really nice, large undermount sink. I mean, look at all the cabinetry space you have up here for storage, six burner stove, uh, oven, microwave, and a nice walk-in pantry right here off to the side. Additional counter space for, of course, your coffee bar, maybe a little wine bar, open shelving with uh, closed shelving, nice shaker cabinets, and again, You've got, a, I mean, you've got a plain view right in here to everything. On top of that, that view continues all the way out to the backyard where you have these beautiful sliding glass doors that come all the way open. So for you Californians that like that, I mean, that's what we call it, right? The California style, the California living. So you should fit in right at home. Before we go outside though, right here, a nice little feature is you have room for formal dining right over here and tucked away in the back is going to be your fourth bedroom. And as we walk in through here, you're going to uh, see you've got plenty of room for a nice queen size bed. You've got a walk-in closet and its own ensuite bathroom right back through here, which is a really nice touch and has that uh, wood ceramic tile in that shower, which uh, really adds um, a little upgraded touch. I do like that. Uh, nice side tables in here. Of course, everything's always nicely decorated in the model homes, but it should give you a good idea of everything that you can fit in here. Uh, I mean, it makes it really nice. Now, as we walk back through here, we're gonna step out into the patio area. And again, if you like to entertain, I mean, this is definitely the entertainer's dream. You can see Plenty of room for a large screen TV up there on the wall. Extended ceilings uh, really opens that up. And whenever you step out here to the back, we have the patio. Now this home has extended patio on your standard homes, which by the way, these are going to be on 60 foot lots. They also have 70 foot lots available, but the patio would, would end about where these brick columns are. So this home has extended patio backspace all throughout here. You can see plenty of room for a sectional with the fire pit. Uh, you've got even room for a dining table, beautiful pergola out here. If you wanted a small pool, you could even squeeze that in. So, I mean, you do have some space with this style of property. And again, 2,500 square feet on a single floor makes it nice. This one backs up to the green area over here and you can probably peek over the fence. You'll see there's a lot of construction going on. So you're getting in very early 
here in this property. Now, as we come back in, again, we walk through all this nice area, this open concept here, which very simple to keep an eye on everything that's going on, even outside. Can you imagine during the summertime, which was yesterday, by the way, <laughs> yesterday was summertime, uh, today is winter, and you had this opened up all the way, and you had guests out here, maybe the kids over for the birthday party, everyone's able to just come in and out. I don't, maybe that's, Maybe that's a little scary for some of you, but others would really enjoy that. But either way, keeps it nice and easy to keep an eye on everyone. Now, now you come into the main bedroom here. And again, it's massive. I mean, beautiful feature with the wood beams up there. Nice uh, wagon wheel chandelier, plenty of room for the dresser, uh, seating storage at the end of the bed. I mean, nice texture with the board and batten kind of uh, wall back here and just adds a really nice feature to that. And then you walk into your main bedroom here and I can just tell the sound difference because it's so much larger in here, but a nice walk-in shower. You've got rain head, a massive rain head right above you, plus the wall shower head. And this is the nice touch right here. The faucets are over here. So you know that's really terrible when the faucets are directly under the, the shower head and you have to turn it on and run uh, or else you're going to get, you know, hit with all that cold water unless you like the cold shower. But then of course, walking into here, you have a really good size walk-in closet. As you can see, you got room for his and hers on both sides. Really nice touch on there as well. And again, for the David Weekly homes that they have here going on 60 foot lot, they packed a lot right on the 60 foot lot and they will have some 70 foot lots as well, starting at $520,000. These are not going to last at this price very long. We're at the start of this community here in Midlothian. It's something that I wouldn't wait around on. Again, anytime you buy early on in these communities, you almost always have built-in appreciation because as the lots start to sell out, they start to increase the prices, the community starts to develop, and the appreciation goes up typically by default. So if you get in early and you don't mind the construction and everything that's going on, that's part of it. Uh, but you typically have some uh, plenty of appreciation as soon as the community gets finished out. But let me know in the comments below, do you prefer this? This one or the impression home that we showed you. Now the Antares home was, uh, that was still a little bit under construction. We weren't able to get in there and check it out, but I'm sure we'll probably be back to this community in the near future, but let us know. David Weekly or impression, which is your favorite? Do you like the multi-story, like two story, single story? Just curious, but let's wrap this up. All right, now they also just told us about this cool little spot. Apparently they've been putting this together, but they are relocating all of these 1800 uh, built in the 1800 style homes you know old victorians things like that and relocating them here from all of the local towns to create founders row which is a pretty cool spot they're turning them into restaurants and hangout spots barber shops things like that i mean it's pretty awesome uh, what they've done and they're restoring them but literally picking them up moving them over here and they're going to be completing that project it looks like they've got about four or five houses right now They've got, the, oh, that's where the porch pour is. They've got the copper rose and they've got, uh, what is that? Re uh, what is that called? That is uh, relic, and relic and root. There we go. That we can see right there. Beautiful, beautiful homes. We're gonna, we should go in there and check it out. All right, so we stopped into uh, the Roasted Beanery. Yeah, the Roasted Beanery Coffee Bar. <laughs> so Roasted Beanery Coffee Bar. But it's down here on Main Street, a little bit further down from the historic part of downtown. They said they're gonna be putting in a couple of different coffee shops down there as well. And we just wanted to wrap up the video here with the five pros and the five cons that we talked about earlier and what you can expect if you're thinking about making a move here to Midlothian. So pro number one is you've got a pretty good location. Again, being kind of centrally located, uh, 25 minutes from Fort Worth, 25 minutes from Dallas, and probably about the same distance to hit up to Arlington as well. 
then if you are commuting or you're seeing clients across the entire Metroplex, that could be a good opportunity for you right there. But that brings us to con number one, which is going to be not really a lot to do here in Midlothian. This is a much slower pace of life. Uh, it's still got that country town vibe as well. So if you like that, this is gonna be a perfect fit for you. If you're into nightlife or uh, a variety, a large variety of restaurants or shopping, not necessarily going to be the spot for you now. All of that's, you know, within a stone's throw away, 15 to 20 minutes as well. You've got a lot of neighboring cities around here that you could get to and check it out. But at the same time, you're probably gonna eat, sleep, and shop mostly around this area. So if you like the slower pace of life, could be a pro, but most people see it as a con. All right, pro number two is going to be that Midlothian is growing. Uh, but that could also be seen as a con as well, depending on how you look at it. But again, think about your parents. What they always said was, I wish I would have bought land back then, or I wish I would have bought a property back then, or 20 years ago, this was absolutely nothing. Well, that's the case here in Midlothian. It's growing quite extensively. The earlier you get in, the home prices are going to be uh, lower. They're going to increase as more homes sell and as these communities get built out. And by the way, I got my iced Americana too. Pretty good so far, so uh, definitely stop in for the coffee. Con number two, now this is a big one, is air pollution. Uh, there's actually some reporting around here because this is uh, considered more of a blue collar area because of the factories going on, that air quality could be less than desirable. And according to uh, some studies around here, one of the cement plants here is the second highest in emission when it comes to that. So that would be something you just wanna keep in mind. Clearly, a lot of people live here and doesn't bother them. I'm sure proximity of where you live uh, to the plants as well could make a difference. So you wanna consider all of those factors, but air quality is definitely a con. All right, pro number three is going to be pretty good schools, at least according to online rankings. Again, you always wanna do your own research check everything out online. Online ranking systems are based on a lot of different factors and sometimes a school will excel in one uh, aspect but not in the other and that could bring the grade down. But overall, Midlothian schools are, are usually A, A minus rated, which is still pretty good, but you wanna make sure you check all the online sites like greatschools.org or niche.com so you can dig in a little bit deeper and do your own research. All right, con number three is going to be zero walkability. All right, you're going to need a car or a nice pickup truck when you're down here in Midlothian. Uh, I mean, unless you just uh, live extremely close to the historic downtown, a walkability is not really gonna be ideal around here. You're not likely gonna be able to walk to the grocery store and walk to a restaurant or a coffee shop or something like that. Very spread out right now. Of course, it looks like they are concentrating a lot of things in the downtown area, but it's still small compared to everything else. I mean, it looks about 1 20th or 1 30th the size of maybe historic downtown McKinney, you know, and if you lived off a of block of McKinney, uh, you could probably survive in McKinney, the historic downtown, you could probably survive on some walkability, but it would still be a little bit of a challenge. I mean, you would really be limited to that area. So public transportation, not a thing out here at all either. So if you're coming from one of those areas where you like hiking and biking and walking and public transportation, this is not for you. All right, pro number four though is this is great for blue collar workers. So if you're in the factory industry or you're in the cement industry or you're uh, in the steel industry, whether you're engineer or labor or management or whatever the case may be, uh, emissions tester apparently, because they do do a lot of testing. And of course the, they are regulated. So they do try to help regulate the air quality. So don't think you're gonna come over here get cancer. I, I don't know that and I'm not <laughs> reporting that either, but I'll make sure you check online. But the thing is, is that if you're in that industry, again, plant, plant worker, uh, management, engineer, whatever the case may be, this could be a good opportunity. So if you've been looking for a position or a good job uh, for an excuse to make a move here, that could be for you. All right, con number four is going to be cement, cement, and some more cement. All right, what do I mean by that? Well, because Midlothian is renowned as the cement capital of the U.S. for manufacturing, Midlothian's residents acknowledge the city's architecture reflects this distinction. With many buildings and major highways constructed from cement, the overall aesthetic may take some time to adjust it. Pro number five is going to be that Midlothian is heavily reinvesting itself. Uh, you can see that if you come to the downtown area, of course, 
picking up homes built in the 1800s and relocating them here to create a cool little area like they are doing in Founders Row. All those things that they're doing around here, the communities, the hospitals, that's a lot of reinvestment. So Midlothian is betting on itself. They, they're ready for the expansion. They know it's going to come. And, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, the growth, the doubling by 2040, I'm sure they'll hit that by 2030. Con number five is going to be traffic, but I mean, that's pretty much gonna be the case anywhere, especially if you're commuting during rush hour. So those are some things you wanna keep in mind, but you're right in between 287, 67, not major highways. You're gonna to have to try to work over to 67. Well, 67 is a major highway, but uh, that or to 35. And I know when we were driving around some of the communities, we had to make huge circle arounds, not a lot of completed roads in some of these areas where they are making these communities. So you might have a little longer commute, even just navigating through the neighborhood. But again, if you are commuting to downtown Dallas or downtown Fort Worth, then that's going to be peak traffic in the mornings and then coming back in the evenings as well could be a little bit less than pleasant. So that's the wrap on Midlothian. And as you can see, it's a pretty good option. I mean, just on the exact opposite side of the Metroplex. So as we do a lot of business up in the north side and a lot of people want to move there, we still have clients uh, that we help move in this area, Midlothian, Mansfield, uh, Forney even, I mean, just all in the South area. It's just not really talked about uh, as much right now. And uh, it's a certain lifestyle at the same time, but you are going to get some better prices on some homes. You're going to get some bigger homes for the money. So at the same time, you know, you're gonna deal with a lot of the construction, a lot of the development and everything else that's growing around here. But overall, I think it's a pretty good bet for you uh, if you get in early and sooner rather than later. But the main thing is, is that whatever you have a concern about or a question, make sure you reach out down below in the description. All of our information is there. We'd be happy to have a conversation with you about your exact situation because uh, we can always talk through what's the right time for you. What are you looking for in a move for your family? Ultimately, we like to have those conversations first and foremost, see if Midlothian may be a good fit for you. But the best way to do that, reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. And we're happy to help you make a smooth move to the Dallas, Texas area. Again, my name is Levi, and I hope to show you around town.